used to be being loud, hanging out, making moves all over town, trying to be cautious, showcasing my style. Everybody wanna know what's going down. That's not how I'm living now. I did a 360, turn my whole life around. Now I roll the keys again, yeah, I like how that sound. I wanna go to heaven where there's no sin allowed. The sin is I converted and changed. People say I'm different since I came out the game. Hey, my now, ladies, it is CC, your frugal goddess. I am coming to you today with a breaking news wig review. Yes! <clears throat> you guys, I ordered this wig um, from off of uh, We Love Wigs 2 is uh, a good friend of mine on there. We have been wig buddies for I don't know how long, but she had this wig uh, up for sale and it was like $20 shipping included, so I could not pass it up. I did not realize this was the same wig I had seen on wigtypes.com and I think it's like $15, but you know, once wig types and those companies get through with shipping, they killing you. You paying, like, if it's a $15 wig, you almost paying $30 for it because the shipping is so high. So, I could not pass her up. And, of course, now, truthfully, when I was looking at her on wig types, I was wondering about getting this color, the pink. But, you know what, you guys, I am not brave enough to try the pink here yet. So, this is Kiss Part Timber, and she is in a black purple. I don't think you can see the purple color in her um, that well. I will include a picture right here with me, uh, with her on outside, so you can get the see the lighting and everything. Um, I will include some links down below, because for one thing, I want you to see Timber has a skin part, and truthfully, like, the skin part is not bad, okay? It is actually really good. I don't think I'm going to try to pluck this part. But what I wanted you to notice about the skin part is, you know, with some units, you get the skin part and it kind of has that hump. This is a really flat skin part. So, you are not going to be disappointed in this. this you, it's almost the same as a... um as a lace part so don't even worry about when you see on the reviews and they're talking about skin part this skin part that do not get the um thought of that skin part with a hump in it now the other thing we are going to see because you guys know that i kind of have a full figured head and i don't i don't like to tear this off oh you scared me okay but I don't like to tear this um, too much because I always keep all of my stock cards. Because I don't always keep them with the wigs, but I keep the stock cards because normally I can identify the wigs. Um, anywho, I'm going to adjust the straps. Okay, I'm going to adjust the straps and when I come back, I'm going to have her on. I am also going to be reviewing another item in this review and this is the mqb um uh, interchangeable ceramic curling wand it says five and one okay yeah so it has five different um attachment we are not going to review all these different attachments and it does come with a glove um but i will be right back and we will see how all of this is going to come together Okay, guys, here I am. I have her back on. I have her on, and we're going to do a little styling with her. I'm going to include a video right here of the inside of the cap. She has no combs, just the adjustable straps. That's it, and I absolutely love that about her. Let me say that I would can Oh, y'all, I'm all out. I am so sorry. I would consider her big head friendly. And the reason being is because I do have the adjustable straps hooked. And I have some space here. Because I'm not going to pull her all the way down here on my forehead. I don't do that. I don't like that. Look, you know, I know some people do. I pull her just right to my hairline. And she is covering. Um, Let me show you the back. So you can see she is covering my whole nape back here, you know, except for that. 
but she can come down some more and cover my entire nape. So I would consider her big head friendly. Now, what I will say, like right now, um, I'm going to have to go back in and adjust the straps, but I have them like right in the middle, one next to the other. I might have them in the same loop. I don't remember. And I do kind of feel the pressure. <laughs> I do feel that. Okay. So, um, again, I will go back in and adjust the straps. Let me get my brush and stuff. Because I can see I want to do a little work on her. And I don't have the stuff that I need right here with me. I'm going to be right back. Okay. I am back. And let's get some flips going here. I want to flip this like this. You know. I'm going to look in the mirror behind me, y'all. So that's why I'm not facing the camera. Okay. Now, one thing I do want to do is I want to flatten this out because it looks a little wiggy. And for that, we're going to use the MBQ. And I have it on low. Okay. What am I doing here? Yeah. Yeah, it's on low. Okay, what am I, what I got going on, y'all? <laughs> I want to flatten this out. And I'm doing it like this because I want y'all to see this. Because, you know, sometimes we as reviewers, we don't show what we do and... You know, people have a hard time figuring out, like, how come my wig don't look like that? You know? So, ouch. Now, the other thing I can say that because it was in the package, I would uh, probably, you could, I'm not going to do it, y'all. I don't go through all of that. But you could probably put it on a wig head upside down. And that will flatten it even more. Okay. So. There you have that. Oh look. Okay. So the luster. What is that? Okay. The luster is really beautiful on here. Um, and another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tilt her just a little bit more for my liking. There we go. Okay. Okay, it looks like a track has come loose. So, for right now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put that under there. Now, I don't know if I'm going to, I'm going to go in and I'll probably look at that and see if I want to cut it or if I just want to repair it. The next thing I'm going to do, guys, is... Um, I don't think I'm going to use my topic with this just because it has, um, the hairline is really full. Let's see if I want to pull a little, just a little hair out. You know, just enough to, um, give it, let me see. I don't know. Where we at? Okay, we're at 849. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to Put some uh, my B&H Pro concealer in the part. And I will come back and let you know if I'm going to use my, well, it's Exfusion, but it's by topic. If I'm going to use this or, or not. You'll see. I'll be right back. Okay, guys. I'm sorry. I'm going to quit calling y'all guys. Okay. 
uh, Divas, this is what I did. I added um, the B and H um, Studio Pro found, uh, uh, powder, and y'all, this is what I use for my powder. I absolutely love this. It helps me to stay matte. Um, and I added that into the part. And I'm going to tell you, if you really want this part to pop, you're going to have to pluck it right in here because it is tight. When I tell you it's tight, it's tight. It's tighter than a 60-year-old virgin, okay? Tight. Um, and it is not going to pop right if you don't pluck some of that hair out of there. So, anyway, uh, you saw me just add a little more um, powder in there. And then around my edges, I added some of the um, Ampro. What is this? Ampro Pro Style Styling Gel. And then I added just a squirt or two of the Exfusion. Just so the edges around there wouldn't be so thin. And you saw me flatten the, um, the part area out with the um, MBQ, MQB. I'm going to come back and do a separate review on that. Because we are already at 11 minutes. And I don't want to hold y'all hostage. So uh, this is... What is this? Kiss Part Timber. You guys, I absolutely love her. She is the curls and whatnot is gorgeous. It just takes just a little work. You have to put in some work. I'm going to tell you that, okay? You know, you could choose to wear her fresh out the pack. And I, it wouldn't be... um, uh, It wouldn't be a big issue. But like I said, I absolutely love it. Um... And once you get that part right, baby, she is laying and she is looking good. Let me do a 360 for you guys. This is the side. This is the back. This is your other side. And y'all know I done tucked her behind the ear and let my little nap show. Because y'all know I love to do my ear tug. I don't, you know, I wouldn't wear her over the eye just because I don't do the over the eye hair. But she is gorgeous, you guys. And if you put in a little work to her, she will look like a decent quick weave, okay? She's not going to look like a uh, a bundle sew in, but she will look like a decent quick weave. I mean, truth be told, if you pull some hair out and you pluck this area right here, she can look like a quick weave. Uh, what do you call it? A sew-in with a closure. I'm finna get out of here because we're going to be at 15 minutes in a minute. Uh, y'all know I love you. I want you to remember. Check out my polish, y'all. I love this polish, okay? Check this out. I'm going to do a uh, quick video about this polish, but I love it. Is it not gorgeous or what? Anywho, remember to be your own kind of beautiful and tell somebody you love them. Don't wait too late. I love you. Later.